My name is Barbara Essis, and I do events for a living. I'm Ruthie Hecht. I'm an event planner, and I work with and for my mother. We're going to teach you the do's and don'ts for the perfect wedding. When choosing your program for the wedding, there are a few elements you have to decide on. Are there going to be any speeches? If so, who's giving them? Make sure that you don't bog your guests down with 20 minutes of speeches in a row. If you do have a lot of them, break them up through the course of the night. Maybe two during the main course and two during dessert. Fun elements over the course of the evening. Your first dance with your new husband, mother-son dance, father-daughter, and definitely cutting the cake. If you're gonna throw the garter, wait till the end of the night when everybody's a little bit tipsy. After the cake cutting is a great time to throw the bouquet. Then you have the rest of the night to enjoy the party and not get off the dance floor. Just remember, skip the cheesy stuff. If your cousin wrote a song for you, the wedding is not the place for it. Try the rehearsal dinner or even plan a bar night before the wedding so that she can showcase herself. It's very nice for either the bride or groom or one of their parents to welcome everybody and maybe the best man give a toast. After that, try to keep speeches to a minimum. When everybody arrives at your wedding, they should go straight into the ceremony. Sometimes it's nice to have them greeted with chocolate dipped long stem strawberries or maybe a glass of sparkling water. Try not to give any alcohol before the ceremony. Skipping cocktails can be a great way to save some money and then you get to go straight into the party. Once you're in the party, try to keep dance sets to 30 to 50 minutes. Longer than that and your guests will get tired. So break it up with food, speeches, and yummy cake. So your wedding should start off with the ceremony, have cocktails if you want them, have a first dance, delicious food, and party the rest of the night with a few personal touches put in there.